So I'm looking at uh, lab and B, the analog to digital chip. And so that chip is being that it's analog to digital is found under uh, mixed here in National Instrument Multisend. And there, there it is, the ABC, the analog to digital converter. And there's an input voltage and a reference voltage. And so the I have some uh, DC power supply or battery. Uh, those are under sources and the ground was under source. I have under, so under power supply, I found the DC and the ground under, uh, Basic, I found a the switch you see at the bottom and a potentiometer, which is going to allow me, instead of always changing the uh, sort of stopping the simulation and applying sort of some new voltage, sort of having two voltages input uh, a reference and some other one and continually stopping the simulation and changing the other, the input voltage. I'm, going, I'm using this potentiometer, which will allow me sort of while the simulation is going to sort of change some reference of voltage. And so that was also under basic. And so I had the ABC, I told you what that was, the battery, the ground, the switch, and the potentiometer, okay. And the potentiometer is, I look at its uh, properties, it acts, uh, like a resistor, and then we're pulling off a voltage sort of somewhere along the way. So it's sort of like there are two resistors in, in series, and you're sort of stopping at some midway point and getting some percentage of the uh, voltage. So it acts like uh, an overall resistance of one kilo ohm, and it's like there are two resistors in series that can be changed so that they add up to 1K. It's, um, we can change the uh, overall potential or voltage uh, live with this key. There's also a slider here, but it's set up to be the, I can change the key, but it's set up right now for an A. So if I type an A, uh, it will, and then my, I have the increment set at 5%. So I can move up by 5% by typing an A. And if I want to go down by 5%, I hit shift A. And then the, the the difficult part of this circuit is to remember that it is like our memory circuits. There's an edge triggering here. So to get what we uh, want, um, we're going to have to go through the edge of a clock. So that's that's the purpose of the, the switch there is to move through an edge. And then the outputs of this thing are brought over into these hex displays. And there are uh, eight of them, and we are going to think of them as representing a binary fraction. Okay. So, and then it asks, um, you know, what what does it display if you're showing a uh, twenty percent? Okay. So let me turn it on. Um, and again, that potentiometer is connected right now to the A key on my keyboard. So I can shift and go, and then the increments were 5%. So I can go 20 to 25 to 30. And if I'm hitting right now, I'm hitting shift A, and that is allowing me to move back. And so one of the, one of the questions asked, what will be uh, displayed when the potentiometer is at 20? And the answer is not zero, zero. It's not showing the proper answer yet because I have not gone through an edge. And so if I take my uh, space bar, my switches on my space bar and go back and forth on it, now I see that I have uh, three, three. And so then I have my two uh, calculators set up. So in programmer mode on my one calculator, I put in a hex of three, three and that corresponds to a decimal of 51. And then I popped over to my other calculator and put in what percentage of, of the full thing, 250, 255 is FF is the highest number we can represent. What percentage 
of uh, 255 is 51. 51 divided by 255 is 0.2, is 20%. Uh, um, and, and then it just asks you to proceed like that. So um, the tricky part is one, to find the components. Um, so I don't think we've worked with a potentiometer before. Um, the, the analog digital chip itself is in an odd place because we're not, we're usually just doing digital stuff, but this is analog to digital. So it was under uh, mixed. We're usually under mixed digital, uh, miscellaneous digital, but this one was under mixed because we were going from analog to digital. And it's giving us this, this binary fraction representing. So we, we have something out in the analog world. We say that there's some uh, max, in this case it was five. There's some input voltage, which is some percentage of that max, and then its binary representation is a sort of the closest binary fraction of the, the input voltage divided by the overall voltage. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you in this case. So thank you for your attention.